Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. And today I want to share with you the three top project management tools uh, for 2018 if you're a digital entrepreneur. So I've shared this video before in the past. There's just so many different tools that are out there on the market to uh, manage your online projects and it can be very overwhelming. Uh, one of the things that I am very passionate about doing is, um, is researching these tools and finding out which ones offer the best features based on uh, on the size of your team, based on you know what kind of business you're in, and really um, you know the 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 you know usability of it. You know does it does it help you save time? Because one of the most important things in uh, choosing the right project management tool is you don't want to be living in it. I mean, you, there's a learning curve for everyone, but you want to be able to uh, to be able to take action, right? And and um, you know, as as someone who does this professionally, coaching large uh, large software development teams uh, in the corporate and financial space, uh, how to use these sorts of tools uh, to automate their workflow, uh, you know, that really depends on on again, you know, the size of your team. Um, do you even have other people working with you? Uh, because that's going to determine whether or not you should consider one tool over the other. Now, no tool is 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 perfect, and uh, one thing to keep in mind is that um, really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You just need to choose one and then go with it. And as you build over time, as you build your team over time, as you you grow, you can then go back and take a look and see if those tools are working for you. But I want to cover three tools that one is is I guess the, the three different tiers are, you know, kind of basic, middle tier and advanced. So the first one is MeisterTask. Uh, if you followed me before, you know that I use and I love MeisterTask, and it's great for if you're a DIY solo entrepreneur. Maybe you've got a part-time virtual assistant. Uh, this is great because you can get a free plan, which um, doesn't you know uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of bells and whistles, but at the same time, you know it allows you to get started. And if you've never um, really managed projects before, this is a great way to at least get organized with your tasks. And I'll show you under the hood of each of these, but my son's going to join me in, uh, in 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 this video. So this is a great thing about live video. What's up, buddy? Um, what, do, what, what is this rock? Oh, a rock? Uh -huh. Yeah, that <laughs> that's a rock. I'll be there in a minute, okay? Uh, um, um, what? You want to say hi? Um, spell this. Say hi. Are uh, you shy now? <laughs> all right. I'll be right back up. All right. Okay. Give me one minute. Okay, so going going back to uh, the, the the three different tiers. So MeisterTask is one that uh, you can get started with for free right now. So the second one, the middle tier one, is Clubhouse, and Clubhouse is great because it's a kind of like it gives you the bells and whistles of a, an advanced project management system, but it also gives you a nice user interface that, uh, as you can see here on their landing page, gives you some uh, key metrics that you can start tracking, such as milestones, um, projects, uh, your, your team, and a nice dashboard to put certain you know, widgets there that you want to track certain certain metrics. Uh, so I highly recommend checking that out uh, as well. Now this is a new tool that I'm actually kind of cracking open and uh, starting to use for a website build. But um, uh, what I am really uh, have had a lot of experiences with MeisterTask for my online DIY projects. But in the corporate space, uh, I've used Jira. And Jira is more advanced. Um, it's one of the bigger, more complex systems uh, because it's so flexible. You can pretty much do anything with it uh, that you can think about when it comes to querying uh, the data in your uh, your stories. Each each uh, task card is called a an issue or in agile terms, a story. And what it does is describe what value you're going to bring with this particular piece of work when you deliver it. So um, this 
Atlassian is the company. They uh, they also uh, own Trello now. So for those of you who are familiar with Trello, uh, they are the parent company for Trello now. And uh, Jira is just a, a, a super awesome tool, especially if you're developing software. Uh, I, I don't know why you wouldn't give it a try. Um, it is uh, not free. You can try it for free. There's like a two-week trial. And then you, it's like ten dollars is like the a month, which is like the entry entry tier. Most of these are around that price. I don't think you should spend more than ten dollars. I know a lot of them will try to upsell you on different features, but really, ten dollars is a sweet spot. If you're just starting out and you want to pay for project management software, ten dollars a month. Do not go above that. Um, that is that's where you want to be. Okay, so, but if you're if you're at a team that's uh, ten or less, that is the sweet spot. All right, so uh, that's uh, Atlassian. Now, now I'm going to go show you underneath the hood because everyone's got a great landing page, right? But under the hood, we've got MeisterTask. Very beautiful, lean user interface. It's actually a joy to use because every every day I can see I've got um, Launch and Learn, Daniel Laporte, a quote somewhere, uh, kind of giving me some motivation, most motivation in the morning, and that helps me, you know, just sometimes get out of my my own head, out of my own way depending upon how the morning is going, right? So um, I look at this as a nice clean dashboard. I've got some focus features here. Um, I can do some search um, for uh, across all my projects. And uh, looking at one of the boards, you can just see I'm going to open up um, a course here I'm working on. So um, We've got open, in progress, done tasks. So all of these tools are visual project management tools, uh, which is which is something that I really love coming from the agile, Scrum and Kanban uh, world. All right. So we're not really going with lists. Um, if you're a list, if you're a list uh, based type person, you like working off lists, then I highly recommend using a basic task manager or something like Asana. But if you really want to want to want to you know up your game, definitely. Uh, start looking into agile project and Kanban methodologies. They really are going to 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 redefine and re, re um, invigorate your 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 project management and your you know anything that you're working on. If you're working on like blogs, even you know content marketing, it's going to really help you be more productive. Now, this one is the middle tier that we talked about, which is Clubhouse and Clubhouse. Uh, is awesome because it again it gives you all these metrics these 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 reports these milestone reports and and whatnot to give you a visualization of where you are based on your milestones maybe you're launching a version one of a website which you know this is what I've got here this is kind of an old old one old one for example but you can see um, it'll give you, you know, how many how many stores you have in there uh, points. Uh, that's another topic for another day, but um, but gives you uh, you know a way to see how is your work in progress. Uh, how's it how's it how, how's it happening? Is it is it on track? Is it not on track? Um, and even if you're outsourcing to a bunch of different people and they're not necessarily part of your your project space here to to, to work in the system, um, at least you have a pulse on all of all of the items here that you've delegated out to team members so that's really key um, and uh, dashboard here is a nice little dashboard which here so you can see you can kind of um, you, you can move things around add some some dashboard wid widgets in your settings and uh, yeah it's not very complicated it, it, it's very fast too uh, which is something that some systems are not as quickly because they've just got so much going on behind the scenes and one of those unfortunately has to has to deal with Jira. I hear a lot of things about Jira, especially Jira. Um, uh, I think it's more or less Jira offers you a couple different options. They offer you an option that you can host it on your own servers, which is like a corporation would do, would likely do. And uh, depending upon your server infrastructure and you know the back end stuff, how much memory and computer capacity you have, that's going to dictate whether or not your your assist, your application is going to be able to perform. And so I think some of those uh, those reputational um, comments have to do with some of uh, those items that. The, the people that are in companies that uh, don't have good infrastructure. Well, with cloud, Jira Cloud, they manage all that for you. And uh, from what I see, is it's 
it's very fast um, and it's very slick. It's got a modern UI, which as you know, some of the older, some of the on-premise installations may have like an older version that kind of looks out of date. Uh, but the core functionality is still there. It's still the same and it gives you a lot under, under the hood. Um, a backlog to manage all your planning items, uh, a quick uh, view to look at your active sprint boards and to move your stories across it. Um, it's got advanced filters. Hey, buddy. I'll be there with you in a minute. And um, it's got advanced filters and just a lot of cool stuff that you can get started with and grow with um, if you're going to you know, get your teams in here. And this is really, all these tools were originally, except for MeisterTask, uh, kind of geared towards pro, um, software developers and really you don't have to be developing software to use these. I mean, anyone's building a business online, whether it's a course or a, a book project or anything, it's digital. And all of these digital projects need to be managed somehow. And agile methodologies have proven uh, time over time again to be be effective in almost any facet of of business. Uh, everything from nonprofit organizations like churches uh, to government institutions and um, software um, development in and, and any of those spaces or um, marketing. So, like you know, there's lots of different fit for purpose uses and use cases for it. Definitely highly recommend you check these out. So uh, that's it for me today. Long video, uh, but if uh, you are with me, check out these three. Again, we've got Meister Task for basic project management. We've got Clubhouse for mid-tier, and we've got Jira for your advanced <laughs> project management. So anyway, uh, I hope you have an awesome day. If you have any comments, questions, uh, or suggestions for other tools to check out, go ahead and leave them in the in the uh, comments below. Otherwise, go ahead and give it a, uh, the video a like or a thumbs up. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and click that sub subscribe button for more uh, videos on how to ma master your workflow when it comes to project management in the digital space. So anyway, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.